Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Soul Eater episode number 16. In the previous episode, uh, we had a little bit of funny portion and a little bit of kind of a, like a serious portion uh, at the end. And uh, we got to meet Krona again. And uh, like, Kit is pretty powerful. So I doubt like it will be easy to take him down. But still, we have to remember that Krona is the person who kind of took Frankenstein and um, um, uh, Maka's dad. Uh, like he went toe to toe with them. And uh, like in this case, like he consumed so many human souls at the same time. And uh, I think like Ragnarok kind of got a power up because of that. So we'll see. Like uh, the power level, I don't know what's going to happen. Like Kit is pretty strong, and he is like probably at par with his dad. I don't know, or like at least uh, like close to the power level of his dad. That is Shinigami uh, principle. But let's see, like what happens. So yeah, guys. Uh, without further ado. Let's get started with episode number 16 of Soul Eater. Alright, I'll be starting, uh, I'll be putting the timer and the subtitles here, sync it to whichever is your preference. Let's get started. Alright, so here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot about that um ship Nidhogg. Like like the enemy at the beginning was someone completely different. And Krona Krona was like someone who kind of barged in into the fight and just wiped the guy out, the original person who they were supposed to fight with. Yeah, like, he just like... Okay, oh my god. Damn. So we'll probably get to see a lot more of, of like kids power in this episode. So like we already saw a glimpse of it uh, in the previous episodes. Like when he kind of showed his soul resonance to Maka and soul. And uh, he was pretty strong but I don't think that like the power he showed is enough for Krona and Ragnarok. Like they are a lot like a bigger deal than like simple soul resonance can handle i don't know we'll see probably we'll see like whether kids power is enough for them uh, for ragnarok and krona damn the pose <laughs> this is jojo level poses um I need to learn to interact with people. What? Um, in your head? Okay, um, that's an interesting point of view. The hell inside my head, okay. 
Also, this is like the theme of this episode. Damn! Oh my God! Okay, kid's showing his. Oof! Damn, smooth. Man, this guy's cool. Like the way he's handling his guns. Mm, I don't think that's like working. Face them. Yes. Yeah, strength and death, and death also. Yes, and symmetrically. Nope, I don't think so. Okay. Oh, that's a beta version of the screech. <laughs> wow, so there's more of it. <laughs> okay. Little one? Who? The little one can run. Who is it talking about? Damn the music. Damn, I want yeah, I wanted the backstory. Like I didn't want to see the whole backstory. Hmm. So they kind of like wielded each other, okay. Eh? Oh my god, this girl! <laughs> oh no, it's so embarrassing. <laughs> Oh god, like, Liz was like, oh, this guy's alive, I mean, he's dead, but alive dead. Hmm. Who the hell is talking about honor here? Like you're the last person. <laughs> yeah. Who the yes. Oh, wow, great. You're destroying your own ship. Good job. <laughs> wow, this guy. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Okay. Like that's like a force shield or something like that. Oh my god. This my screams to blow away. Okay, supersonic sound. Oh my god, he's screaming as well. Wow. <laughs> okay, this is the alpha version. <laughs> okay. Oh. Well. That's the end of the ship. Mm. Oh, damn. 
Okay. Hmm. Like that was Nidhogg. Like uh, the sh ship itself was pretty powerful as well, but he just like slashed it like a piece of paper. It's flying away. Oh, he's going away. Oh god, am I? This guy doesn't give up. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Damn, he's like... Why are they running away? Like, they're pretty powerful themselves. They can... Or like... Oh. Yeah, the fog is lifting. What happened? No, no, the symmetry. Oh, no. His only weakness. <laughs> the only weakness. <laughs> well, he has at least got his priorities straight. Well, yeah, the sun is also like symmetrical. <laughs> Who gives a damn about a sword <laughs> when you have symmetry? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god, this guy. Who is this? Oh my god. He has a tongue. <laughs> oh my god, this guy. Okay, so I, I think like this will probably like this arc will end here. Yeah. So this is like a mini arc. Okay. Normal. Hmm. Yeah, like uh, the thing kind of like he was coughing, she was coughing out blood. Nah, Ragnarok's blood. Mm, no, I don't think so. Oh, so. Oh, so like she's not affected, so okay. So like, that was like the only time? I thought like Marissa was making this up, so like. Okay, so like it, it really is not kind of affecting her. Promote the effects. Oh my god. Well, she is like. Oh yeah, Maka doesn't know. <laughs> oh no.
<laughs> oh no. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so like Oh Okay, here it is <laughs> I knew it like uh, Stein had some must have some su suspicion Like at from the beginning, okay Like Like this guy is not to be underestimated Oh good, yeah, great job, great job Stein, okay Okay. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, he's going straight to the point. Okay. Um, so what's she going to do? Oh, the reflection. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, okay. It's kind of like uh, under control. Nine guess, okay. Okay, so Okay The item Hmm. 
Okay. Oh, okay, so, oh, that's his weapon partner. Oh, all right. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that thing's alive. God damn. Yep, this is the proof. But, like, like, these are like all, like, these are like all in front of them. Like, was he, was she, like, so. So like carefree and easy going? I don't think so. Like this must be some kind of trap. Oh no, something is coming. Um oh god, I think that's a bomb. Uh What are these? Oh, I knew it. God damn. Oh my god. It just blew up the whole place. Oh, this was her. Let's see, I think he's okay. Like, like unless and until we see a body. I don't believe like someone's dead in an anime. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, that was the end. Okay, so like this episode was a bit, what can I say, like calm down and all, and uh, like uh, at the end where like like they kind of like blew up the whole house. Now there's one thing we have to always keep in mind: like we should not believe that someone died or something unless and until we see a body, like a proper dead body, especially in anime, because like majority of the time uh, like whenever like something like this happens the person who was affected is usually fine so I think like Sid and uh, I, I forgot his weapons names Nyos or something like that anyways um, so like they might have like sustained injuries and all but I don't think like they are like killed and all I think they're like fine and they'll probably like come back in a few episodes or sometime later on I don't know like uh, that's usually what happens I might be like it might be wrong and uh, like in this uh, anime it might not be like that but I don't know, like that is like usually what happens like until and unless like a body is shown we should never like uh, we should never like believe that yeah uh, someone died because like there's one thing like uh, except a few like animes uh, like there are, there are a few exceptions 
death in anime is quite rare like even like uh, this is what can i say like this is applicable both in the enemy and like the good side the, the bad side and as well as the good side even like the enemies in anime rarely die like they are like usually captured or something like that but really die there are exceptions like there are a lot of exceptions of those and like there are a few animals like where like you blink your eye and a guy is dead you guys definitely know what i'm talking about attack on titan a coming a kill all of these like these are like exceptions but usually like uh, especially in shonen people really die so i doubt like they are like they are killed i doubt that so like i think like probably they have like sustained some injuries and they'll probably be back in a few episodes so yeah so that was episode number 16 all right uh, so in this episode uh, this was like a f fairly straightforward episode nothing much happened uh, and like i thought that we'll probably get uh, like a huge fight between uh, kid and um grown up but like that did not happen and i really don't know like even now i'm kind of still i'm kind of like at a, a 50 50 uh, what can i say like a 50 50 kind of thing like where i'm thinking like if they those two kind of faced off who would have won like that was like a 50 50 thing like i like um krona could win or like kid could win any one of them could could have won because like both of them are pretty strong and i think like their power levels are kind of like similar so that is one thing so yeah like uh, um it is like kind of good that they did not face up in this episode because they were like alone like only uh, Liz patty and um, a kid was there and uh, krona had like uh, consumed all of those souls and uh, krona and uh, ragnarok were pretty strong so like i'm kind of relieved that they did not face off because that would have been a real problem uh, like especially towards like for kid so yeah that is kind of like an okay thing and uh, like uh, like this the first portion was mainly of that that is like the kid situation and it kind of like got resolved and like this was like an unusual thing like and uh, the like the small arc kind of thingy was like for one and a half episodes so like i can't call that an arc but like it was like most probably of consisted of kind of like a single manga manga chapter or like two manga chapters and they kind of like adapted it this in one and a half episodes so yeah and like it like the fighting kind of like ended abruptly and because like uh, chrono ran away and uh, yeah like I, I think that he was also kind of thinking that yeah if i take kid on uh, head to head uh, he would definitely have sustained injuries and i think like he kind of uh, ran away so that he did not have to face that because obviously people would like try to um, like take as much less damage as possible like they came here for a mission i think the mission was probably like consuming all of those souls human souls and they accomplished it so they went away and obviously kids biggest weakness as you guys know symmetry like it like here's the thing symmetry could be a like blessing as well as like something and as a disadvantage for him as well because like if something is symmetrical he might get so excited that he becomes extremely powerful <laughs> like you guys saw this like um previously this happened like because of symmetry he kind of like won and um, this is also like kind of like a disadvantage because like if something is so symmetrical that he kind of gets distracted by it but and also like if the enemy is symmetrical then that's a huge problem my like like i'm thinking like if there comes an enemy that is like symmetrical completely how would kid react like i don't know like that is something <laughs> that is something to think about i don't know if the anime does this at some point but that will be pretty hilarious if they did it because like a symmetrical enemy so what would kid do <laughs>
<laughs> I don't know. Like if kid hurts it or like injures it, that will become asymmetrical. Like the symmetry will be broken. So what should kid do at this time? <laughs> I don't know. Like if uh, they kind of like do that in the anime in some kind of way. <laughs> but that was pretty hilarious if they did it. We'll probably see it later on. Or like if it is in the anime. Something like that. Okay, so yeah, like that was what uh, was like the mainly first part of the episode. And uh, mm, what else was here? Let's see. Oh yeah, and then we kind of come to the other portion of the episode, which uh, which which is like focusing on uh, Medusa and all of these her and Stein. And so here's the thing, Marka was affected by the black blood. Medusa also thought that yeah, she is affected and something might be changing within her. But like, I'm also surprised. I thought like Medusa was tricking her. Like I thought that she, she was saying like uh, uh, telling Marka that yeah, you're fine and there's nothing to be worried about. But like in reality, something was really affecting her. So I thought that she was lying, but apparently not. Like so, the thing is, like it really is not affecting her. Like when she coughed up the blood, something might have like happened, like to her at that moment. And uh, like after that, either like some kind of counteracting thing uh, nullified the whatever that was happening within her, or something else happened, which kind of nullified the problem so like she is like even though she's coughing out blood like that she like her internal everything is fine now or i don't know like or, or is like something happening like is marcus body adapting to the blood uh, not the blood like to the uh, like uh, to souls like uh, anomaly like is marcus uh, soul wavelength and when they kind of did the soul resonance um, Souls, uh, Ragnarok's blood, like that black blood, kind of affected Maka. So, like, is her body like getting, um, like used to that? I don't know. Like, is it is her is, is her body like adapting to that? That might be it. Like, that's the reason why she like at first she kind of like threw up blood, but now she is like nothing is wrong within her. So that might be it, or there it might be something else. But there is something like something is at play here, which is nullifying whatever the bad thing that was happening inside Marka. So like Medusa was surprised at that as well. So so like then she tries to like <laughs> trick Marka into like consuming something that was going to like like affect her badly. But well, Stein saved the day, and like. In the, like I still kind of like I, I said that in the previous episode as well like when there was like the main fight between uh, Stein um, uh, Maka, Maka's dad Maka soul and all of them were fighting against um, uh, Krona and Medusa was like uh, kind of like flying above and that time uh, both of them saw Medusa even though Medusa was wearing a hood so like um, I thought at that time like like Stein must have like, uh, like what can I say, uh, suspected her, because like Stein is a pretty witty guy and uh, like he's pretty intelligent and all. So, like I thought that there might be something that Stein kind of suspects, but she, he is he hiding it until and unless he gets a proper proof. So that kind of caught what can I say, like confirmed in this episode because Stein kind of like <laughs> like just like said it like clearly with him like uh, in front of Medusa let's just he just clearly said that uh, like are you the witch or something like that so and even though like later on he kind of like brushed over it but still like that was something he did and Medusa like should also be careful from now on and might not like do stunts like these for a few days i don't know and uh, like he has she has a lot of covering up to do like everything uh, like her background and all people will start like start investigating her like sid was like sent so like she has to be more careful now and uh, yeah and uh, so stein suspects medusa kind of and uh, i don't know like he sent sid and uh, 
the uh, like his weapon partner but like what can i say like kind of got blew up the like their home like medusa's home was blown up which was most probably ordered uh, by medusa and the frog which kind of did that and uh, yeah like i doubt they are like what can i say like they're dead i doubt it um i think like they are like probably okay like not okay like they definitely have like gotten injured but still like they're fine in the standpoint that they're alive so we'll probably get to see them later on i don't know is it just my guess i don't know because like like what can i say like this is like this is not how a person like dies like sid was quite a like what can i say like he was although he was a main like side character he, he was a pretty like important side character we got a few episodes in which he was like he had a lot of screen time so yeah like i doubt like something has happened to him we'll probably see that later on anyways so yeah so that was this episode um and then like uh, at the end uh, kid kind of confronts his dad about uh <coughs> like the kishin's part of things like uh, he wants to know all of the things like uh, why he can like leave uh, the it's like leave the school and all and we like already know that him like Shinigami principal staying in that place is very important because his soul is like kind of like a barrier against the whole thing so like if I think if he like goes away from that place um, the barrier would be down and it will be a bit like problematic so like he's like him like staying there is like the maximum defense uh, what can I say like the maximum defense is being uh, projected uh, and like it is saving the whole place from anything like bad from outside so like I think like it also like acts as a like that barrier kind of thing also like acts as a uh, like detection thing like uh, if someone from the outside kind of like infiltrates the port, the place, uh, he immediately gets notified, and that was also the reason why like um, Medusa like uh, does not like has like a, a thing like she hides her presence. That's the reason why, because if she does not hide her presence, uh, Shinigami's principal will like uh, immediately know that yeah, there's something wrong over here. So that is also like the reason why she is like using on like always like. Uh, <clears throat> puts like what can i say like keeps an incognito presence and uh, usually does not fight outside and that was also the kind of thing that uh, the frog used before to try to blackmail medusa but it failed <laughs> spectacularly and now, he, now the table has just, just turned and she is now like doing <laughs> stuff and doing jobs for <laughs> medusa and like she is now being blackmailed by Medusa. Anyways, so yeah, that was this episode. So yeah, this was like this was like a fine little episode, and um, we'll like probably get to see more uh, and get some more like background information about uh, whatever that is happening in the next episode because like Kid asked a question to Shinigami Principal, and I think like like he must answer it somehow. Like uh, we'll probably see that in the next episode. So yeah guys, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't. And you can comment down below anything you want to share, I'll be sure to check them out. And uh, yes, I'll be back with a new Soul Eater episode next week. Uh, it will be episode number 17. So yeah, uh, until then goodbye and have a nice day.